Hello friend, welcome back. You know previous video I have discussed about that things with you, how can delete it from here. So that means a soft delete it from here. So now if you click as a delete, so it will be display as a category soft deleted successful. And here you can see it's now save all the data in our trust list. So now I want to do, I want to change this action button here. It will be as a permanently deleted and also I want to add another um, button for the restore. That means from here, if you restore this uh, category, then it will be restored it and add this in our main category area. So how can do that work? For doing this, we have to work in our this task list area. That means that is our index. And here we have to update this button. So now go to our index and into the index that is the, our trash list. You can see there is a cloud trash list passed the, the, into this part area that is our delete and there is edit. So now I want to, want to make it not the edit, I want to make it as a restore. Okay. So it should be as a restore and that will be as a permanent delete. So I make it as a P delete. Okay, that will be as a permanent delete. So for the restore, I want to do, I want to create one of the URL. It should be as a category restore. Okay, that will be as a category restore and also it should be updated with a specific one of the ID. So first of all, I want to complete that restore part. So here we have to do, we have to create this URL, right? And also they have one of the ID. Now go to our web route here. Here after this, I copy it. I copy it and here I paste it. So now, first of all, we have to update that our URL. So our URL will be as a category restore and then ID. Copy it and then it will be as a category, sorry, category restore and then a specific ID into the category controller. I want to create one of the method as a restore. Okay, I name it as a restore. So now we have to do, we have to create this restore method into the category controller. Go to our category controller here after this. I want to do and to create it so that will be as a public and then function and then our method name will be as a restore so now I name it and also here we have to do we have to add our ID because of all from here I have also passed one of the ID that means our requested ID I want to do and to add this or this requested ID right friend and then I want to do um, here here I take one of the variable I take one of the variable as a delect whatever you want so right now we name it as a delect and then with our category as category model so with this category model they have also um, for the restore they have also one of the function as a with trash that means here we have to add that uh, function as a trash okay, with trash so with this trash here we have to do have to add that our find data and it will find our specific requested data so that will be our requested data as an id right that means this requested data. So also there is another function as a restore because of all it will be restore it. So I want to do and to make it as a restore. So that will be as a restore. So that is one of the another building function as a restore function and that is our with trash. Okay, so with trash it should be find our specific ID data and after that it should be restored this. That means restore this data. And when it should be restored then it should be return redirect. So same page I copy it and it should be as a return redirect to the back page with some of the message as a category restored okay restore restore successfully so this is the success message i have already declared into the back page back page means in our index page right into the index page here you can see i have already displayed it. so here you can see that is exactly the our message that means when you should get any success session then it should be displayed this message right so i have already discussed about that things with your friends so now you have to actually practice it so if you practice then everything should be very much clear to you so right now here we successfully complete our this method that means when any user click in particular that edit section so this the edit section restore section is for our this part right so when it should be redact click as a restore then it should be detected to our category restore with a specific id into the web that is our category restore with the id into the category controller i have created one of the method as a restore method that means into the category controller that is our restore method so here i am uh, using that category so with this category model with our trash you should find that a specific id and then it should be restore it and when it should be restored then it should be display as into the back page with the success message perfect 
now let's check this out if you click as a save all and now refresh it so now i want to do i want to restore this arian one okay you can see into the category list i have already de deleted for the reason is now into the trash that means in our trash page so now here if you click as a restore that means there is option for the restore click as a restore yes you can see friend now it's showing as a category restore successfully and now that is actually deleted from here that means uh, restore from here and now it's visible in our main category area and also if you want to restore the hello one click as a restore yeah you can see hello one is now visible and it's not totally gone from here so now i want to do i want to delete it that means from here i want to delete it permanently okay that means it should be deleted from our this database so how can do that work for doing this here we have to do we have to add another path right so now go our index page into the index and that is our trash right so that is our trash part into the trash part that is our restore button and here also you have to do the same here also we have to add another one so better i copy it that means here we have to add another url our url will be i name it as a p delect okay p delect and category so p delect category this type of one of the url we have to create and also it should be deleted with a specific one of the id so now let's create this url go to our web route here I copy it and I paste it so it will be our this path you can see friend how much easy it is actually if you understand the main core functionality then Laravel as a just like as a water as I told you and you can see that is our URL and after that that is actually one of the ID so here that is also one of the ID right so now I want to do and to create one of the method I want to create one of the method into the category controller into the category controller area I want to create one of the method as a delect or p delect okay I name it as a p delect that means the permanent delect so now we have to do we have to create this method in our category controller so now go to our category controller here after this I want to do as a public and then function and then our method name as a p delect so now i add this p delect and it will be just like that same as a delay take another variable as a delect and then with this category model okay with this category model i want to do i want to add that is also another option i want to delete it from where i want to delete it from to the trash right so there is also another function as i told you only trash that means here before we use that with trash and now there is another one as on the trash because if you want to delete any data permanently from to the trash then you have to you delete it with using that only okay only and then trash only trashed so with this only trashed i want to do i want to also before delete it we have to add that our specific requested id so into the web route they have also one of the id we have to do we have to add this id so here I want to do and to add this id okay that means here first of all it should be find this id so now i name it as a find uh, we are using that eloquent rm so sorry here we have to add that our id and then i want to do and to add that force delect okay there is also another math function as a force delect so that is all that building function friend so that is a pretty much simple some of the code function you have to remember okay so when you actually practice it one or two times then everything will be very catchy to you so that is a force delete. so with this force delete, right now i want to delete it from to the our uh, trash so now uh, that's all you have to do and after that it will be return redirect with some of the message return redirect to the back page and to the back page with some of the success uh, message as a category uh, permanently deleted Okay, permanently deleted deleted so this type of one of the message it should be this but that means permanently deleted means it should be totally deleted from to this database okay so here that's all you have to do friend now let's check this out uh, I click as a save all now go here refresh it everything is looking great now you can restore from here if you want to delete it permanently man's fashion yes you can see friend it's not showing as a 
category permanently deleted that means right now it's totally gone okay so if from here you can edit so if you want to edit it i can edit it click as the update category category updated successfully and if you click as a delete it now we can see it's now delete as a hello and now it's redirected to the aryan so perfect so now it's redirected to a particular that area and from here you can restore it so it will be restored again rather than you can if you want to delete it directly you can delete it rather than you can if you want to delete it permanently then you can delete it permanently from here okay so here we successfully complete everything for our category so if you want to add new one category click as the add category yeah category inserted successfully so category inserted successfully that is our category so friend everything we successfully complete so that is the main code functionality okay so right now you can know how to edit it how can update this data how can read this data from to the database how can delete it from to this area and also i discuss about that short that means the soft delete how can working with the soft delete so here we successfully completed it so you know next video i want to work with our another menu i want to add another menu for the brand and so the brand i want to use some of the image okay so here i didn't use any image so for the image related every concept i want to clear with you okay so how can create some of the image functionality how can upload some of the multiple image at a time how can update this image that means when you update this image automatically your um, save image will be replaced with the new image and when you delete this uh, user data with and and also this image will be deleted from your store so how can manage everything image deleted everything i will show you so for the reasons better i want to add another menu for the brand so how can working with the brand step by step everything i will show you with a live example so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video